What is up guys, Polder here, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Cypher. We are unboxing booster box number 8 today. Got one more left in the back there, but booster box 8, it is called Life and Death Beyond Fate. Um, and in it, as you can see from the front, there are Awakening characters and Genealogy characters. Seelith is the, uh, the one advertised, so I'm going to assume most of the genealogy is going to be second gen genealogy. Um, but there is the art on the top. You can see, assuming again this is second gen genealogy, that would be Julia and Shannon. And over here, Owain and Cherche. I believe that is the only art on the outside of the box. Let me get this plastic off and we'll take a look inside. All right, so inside, we of course, well, let me set this up, but we of course have our, as I knock everything over. Well, good enough. Um, we have our box promos. Uh, we can see a hollow card, like box marker. Uh, and there's a red card in the back. I do know you either get Alm or Celica. Uh, we'll take a look at a, a closer look at what's inside uh, whenever we actually get to look at the cards. Uh, and then, of course, you have your uh, individual sale thing for retailers. And then, of course, your 16 packs, eight on each side. On the inside, we got art. So on this side, we have, it looks like, Altina, Julius, I'm going to assume, uh, Telti, and Ares. And then on this side, we have Virion, Tiki, uh, Lucina, and Abursa. And you can see maps of, uh, Arcania or whatever, you know, the Awakening, Marth World and uh, of Yugdral on the other side. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but of course, I'm going to go ahead and cut open all these just to save time, and then we're going to get going. All right, so real quick, let's take a look. This is what was inside the uh, booster promo. Of course, a closer look at the card marker with the uh, little sprites of different lords. You got Ike, Sigurd, Corin. Marth, Corin, Roy, and Lucina. Really cool looking. I really dig that. Uh, and the promo we got was Celica. So, uh, like I said, you get either uh, Alm or Celica. And I will put uh, the Alm card to the side there. Uh, so you can see the other potential promo you get. But, real nice. Real nice. So let's get digging into these. Um, I do know a little bit about what's in this set. Uh, every uh, every pack will have a, an ad and a card list. Uh, ad for the next set, which is this yellow box in the back here. Uh, but I do know that this set contains like a evil King Krom, like a risen King Krom, and then I think this is also the one that has Grima in it as well. And I think female Robin has Grima. Really cool cards. Um, would be lovely to pull some of those. But we got Cherche. You can see her Dragon Minerva. Uh, I don't see a horse, so I think this is Johan. I know there's Johan and Johalvier. So I guess, no, Johan's the one on the horse. This would be Johalvier. Uh, and of course, if I'm wrong about any of these, I will uh, edit the names on screen. But hopefully I can remember most of their names <laughs> correctly. Uh, we got Rickon. Nice cauldron bubbling over. I dig that. Alright. We have Telti. Or Telchu, or however, whatever name you know her as. The translations are all over the place. But I dig that. I dig that. Oh, wait, no, not Telti. My bad. It's Tinny. Tinny is the kid, Telti is the mother. I think I said Telti. And I was talking about the art on the inside of the box as well. It's Tinny. Tinny and Ishtar are the daughters. And then Arthur, the brother. Okay. My bad. Alright. Uh, we got a Aversa. So this is unpromoted, like, 
seemingly non-evil Aversa, though there is someone getting blown away in the back, but white armor, a lot of, not, not necessarily so dark and evil yet, I like that. We got Randall, so one of the Cypher um, original characters. Uh, Randall is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. I mean, Randall and Emma are both, like, awesome. But there's Randall as an Awakening card. We got... Leave? No. No, this would be uh, Ulster. Probably. <laughs> I want to say this is Ulster. Larsay's brother. So I think yeah, he would have white armor if it was Leaf. Uh, I guess there's potential that we see some of the characters that you get if you have no pairings in Genealogy. And if those are the case, then of course I'll do edits. But I believe this is Ulster. Uh, Emerin, okay. Not a huge fan of Emerin as a character, but her art's great. Looking good. Uh, Larce, 100%, that's Larce. So, Ulster's brother, looking happy and cute. All right, and our first rare is Tiki. All right. So, again, with these boxes, you are guaranteed uh, to get at least one rare plus or secret rare plus. So, you know, always got to hope for that secret rare plus because they tend to be the autographed cards. But in one of these sets, I know rare plus gets some specialty stuff to it, too, so... Either way, I'll be probably happy. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I love that. That looks real nice. Real nice tiki card art there. So I can move the entire box. Oop. Okay. So, we got... I have no... Oh, I guess said. It was like magic, green head. Yeah, that is said. Said the brave. Okay. It's an unpromoted said. Not as badass and confident looking. But alright, alright. We got Kellum or Kalam, however you want to pronounce his name. The Forgotten Knight, the one with horrible memes talk, you know, surrounding him. Uh, but I, I dig him. He doesn't deserve what he got. But I dig him. So there's him. Uh, we got Ares. I believe this is the same card art that was, or yeah, art that was inside the box. Ares, the Mistletane wielder. You can see the Mistletane in his hand there, the hilt, or cross guard, or I think it's cross guard that you can see, not hilt. I think hilt is the thing that you hold. I don't know. I don't know sword pieces, man. Either way, that's Mistletane in the back. I like it. Maribel. Oh, Maribel is like one of my all-time favorite Fire Emblem characters. Definitely. Like, my favorite, like, like there's a, like a three-way tie of my favorites for Awakening. Maribel is one of those. I love this. Oh, it's such good card art. I love the umbrella just going out of the, the border, too. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, we got Shannon. So, a different Shannon than down here, it looks like. But a Shannon nonetheless. You can see a little bit of the Baomung. At the top there. Nice carry unit, Shannon. Uh, we got Lena. Still inheriting that big head hair. The artist definitely made note of that, I see. But she looks adorable. Little Lena. We got- oh my god, look at his face! We got the Mad King Gangrel. The... <laughs> <laughs> He's in that, like, arched back pose that he likes so much, but Jesus, okay. Okay. Uh, we got Sealuf. This is the Sealuf that's on the front of the box and, uh, on all of the pack art. Look at that. Alright. It's an unpromoted Sealuf, too. No horse, but still really nice looking. We got, okay, Yuzu. This is another one of the Cypher exclusive characters. Or Cypher original characters, I guess exclusive isn't necessarily the, the word, because they were put in Shadows of Valencia. But there's Yuzu. Probably my least favorite. But she's she's got, you know, she's she looks cute. Just her personality 
Flounders. But our next rare is uh, Faval. I was going to say, oh god, what's his name? Is Ufel Wielder. And you can see the Ufel. Hold up. Put this in a sleeve. So there we go, Faval. I love Faval, man. I mean, I'm always partial to bow units because it's my favorite uh, favorite weapon. Uh, just in general, but especially Fire Emblem. But God, Faval, man. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, pulled two on accident there. Okay, so we got Female Robin to start this pack off. Looking cute. I like it. I like it. Uh, Emma, so we're getting all the Cypher, Cypher original characters. So Emma, like I mentioned with Randall, is like uh, a favorite of mine. She's a, a Draco Knight, or Wyvern Rider, yellow card, so that's cool, I dig it. We got the Vake, and I don't know if that's anyone specific behind him? I cannot tell, but, you know, enter the Vake. We have Carepri, the, uh, the Valkyrie Staff Wielder. Other than that, he, he kind of doesn't do anything. He's just, he's being protected by Hannibal. He can wield the Valkyrie Staff for you if someone dies. And that's kind of it, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, that, that has plenty of use, so good job, Carepri. <laughs> We got Sumia. I love this Sumia art. This is really good. Real nice. We got a Risen. I don't know if it's anything specific, but I know it's a Risen. So if it's anything specific, I'll edit on the screen. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that just a, a Risen gets a card. Uh, I'm trying to look like it. It's armor. He looks just like a Risen Warrior. I don't know that he's anyone specific. But cool nonetheless. And Shades. We have seen all four characters now. We saw Randall, Yuzu, Emma, and now Shade. Which is out of her typical... Shade is normally the sultry, dark, darkness-wielding one. Uh, but she's a Pegasus Knight... All decked out in white? I I dig it. I dig it. Especially with the change of pace. Awesome. Alright. We have Chrom. So again, this is the one that is on the box art and on the uh, the packs. We got just a normal unpromoted Chrom. We have Julia. So the one that we saw down here. Julia. With some birds. It looks really nice. Really nice. And our rare is... Is this a secret rare? This is a secret. Of all characters to get a secret rare, I wouldn't have guessed Patty was going to be the recipient. But you can see the little... Ooh, the, the hollow pattern. And this is really cool. It's like little sunbursts. Like dot sunbursts. I like that. But Patty, the little thief girl, daughter of Bridget, I really like that. Very surprised to see her the uh the super rare or secret rare but that's cool that is cool okay so uh, we have another dupe of said sumia uh unpromoted faval so we had the rare hollow faval this is the unpromoted faval protecting the kids i forget what town there's so many names and in your draw. But being the protector. I like it. Nice and wholesome. We got another Kelam. Another Tinny. Lena. Uh, Lester? Yeah, that's a bow. That is Lester. I take this card. St this art style. It's like a. A good mix of like old art style and new. It's got a real like comic-y tight feel to it. This is nice. Alright, Lester, alright. I dig it. I dig it. We got Jerome. One of the Awakening Kids. Batman, as a lot of people like to call him. 
Looks nice. Uh, question mark, what are you holding? Trying to figure out who this is, and I have no idea. Uh, it's a horse, Lester, is it Delmond? I can't tell what weapon he has to, like, try and get a hint, but Lester is the bow knight. I, Delmond, I think, is the sword cavalier. That's not Ares. I'm gonna go with Delmond. I don't... I guess it'd be... I don't know, man. That's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> and a rare... We got a rare tinny. Uh, just a normal rare. Wanted to make sure it wasn't a, a super or secret. I don't know what the S stands for. It's just R for rare and SR for something rare. Uh, I mean, that also works. It's something rare. Uh, but tinny. I really like the tinny art style. And I, I've always been partial to the magic effects on these card arts. So, Wild and Thunder, I dig that. Dig it a lot. Moving on, we have, alright, a new face here, Virion. Seems to be an unpromoted Virion, but Virion all the same. Birds and feathers and... Flower petals, Jesus. That's fitting for Virion. Uh, Carepri, again. S another Sumia. Faval. Maribel. Randall. Ares. Okay, promoted Vake. So I'd say getting a lot of dupes early on. But promoted Vake. <laughs> With an explosion going on in the background. That's, that's pretty fitting of a Vake card. But alright, alright. Uh, Hannibal, we, I was talking about him whenever we, we saw the first Carepri. Look at how serious, this, this art, like the realism. Well, I, I dig this. I dig this a lot. And I, I really, I really like Hannibal as a character. So, oh, that's, that is cool. Uh, I like that. And a rare, is a rare Kalam. Okay. Is he being memed on in his card art? I think he is. Unfortunate. Yeah, he's in the middle of a battle standing there, so yeah. Poor guy. Doesn't deserve it. Doesn't deserve that kind of treatment. Uh, but good card art nonetheless. So very solid. Very solid. Moving forward, we got... Uh, th Ooh, this artist? Rendition of Tharja. I dig this. I love Tharja. I don't care what people say. I dig her for who she is. It's a shame she's just turned into like the like <laughs> sex sells character instead of going off of the fucked up personality that she has. But Tharja looking nice. Patty, non secret rare Patty. Looking nice. Cute, I dig it. <laughs> Bag of goods. Cool, cool. We have male Morgan. Yeah, this has got to be male Morgan. Okay. So I wonder if both Morgans are in this set. I don't know. But there's a Morgan nonetheless. Uh, we got... Ooh. Brown hair? And a stave wielder? I don't know who this is. I'll be flat out honest, I have no idea who this is. So I'm thinking of the stave wielders, and there's Lena, and there's Nana. Neither of them have brown hair. So I'm thinking, my uh, my worry at the start of this, of the characters that you get for not having pairs, I, I think this is one of them. I could be, like, just remembering someone completely, you know, or rather not remembering anyone completely. Could be someone I'm gonna go look up later when editing to put the name in, be like, oh shit, yeah, it's that person, but I don't know. Nice card art though, whoever you are. Cool, moving on. <laughs> we have a non-rare version of Tiki. I dig that, dig that a lot. Both of Tiki's card arts that we've seen have been real solid. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, maybe this is Ulster, so I don't know who the other person was. Maybe it was promoted Ulster. I don't know. But, 
purple. Purple and white, that's definitely Ulster. Alright, alright. Oh my god, we got Noir, one of my favorite Awakening kids. Looking nice and menacing. I dig that. Alright, and she's a bow unit, so, you know, I, I already have a soft spot. But there we go. Uh, this person, again, possibly Delmond. Uh, Dark Knight Henry. Henry, a character that a lot of people like. I don't dig his localized writing, but the Japanese version of Henry is pretty solid. Can't argue with that one. Card art, though, real good regardless. And our rare is a secret rare quest. Yeah, Frederick! Oh, this, like, the fire? I don't know why he's surrounded in flames, but that is Frederick. Let's go, Freddy. I love Frederick, man. He's great. He's got this, like, weird, dry quirkiness. Oh, he's, he's just so good. This art is real nice. Alright. So that's, what, two secret rares so far? Nice, nice. Starting off with another dupe, we got Patty. Tharja. Or Tharia. I know, I know. Shannon. Uh, a different version of Jerome that we have yet to see. I think we've seen the promoted version of Jerome. This is unpromoted. A nervous face peeking in there. <laughs> Alright. We have, okay. Oh my god, the facial expression of Gangrel. We saw promoted Gangrel here as unpromoted Gangrel. Oh my god, he's so... It makes me very uncomfortable. The facial expressions. Oh my, okay. We got the unpromoted Aversa. We got promoted Lissa, uh, and I think, is this, no, I think this is just, well, no, it's a spear. I think this is Bride Lissa. I know they added some special classes in, and I'm pretty sure that's what this is supposed to be. The Bride class from Awakening DLC for Lissa, because they wield lances or spears and bows. And staves, I think? But for sure, lances and bows. So, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, we got promoted said. So, looking a lot more confident here. I think. I don't know. The, the, the facial expressions of both of his cards are a bit out there. But, you know, I dig said. He is, like, the epitome of carry in that game. Uh, assuming you give... You know, you have the right pairing to let him wield for Seti. Uh, but, said the brave there. We have Stall, a promoted Stall. Nice normal knight. Alright, and our rare is Sealift. And that's not a secret rare. He's just a normal rare. I wonder if there's a secret rare version of him. There might be. But promoted rare Sealift here on his horse, holding the tear thing. That is nice. That is real nice. All right, last pack on this side. Uh, leading off with more dupes, we got Rickon, Ares, Maribel, Patty, Lar. I think this is a different Larse than we've seen before. I could be wrong, but if not, appreciate Larse again. I dig it. Action pose Larse. I don't like her as much as Aira, but she's still nice. So there's Larse. This is a different Risen than we have seen prior, <laughs> holding up a dude. All right. The fact that Risen got cards, like like I said with the first one, the fact that Risen get cards in general, pretty awesome. Gotta say. Another Risen. Uh, Henry. Uh, this person, a promoted version of this person. So, there's that. <laughs> Whoever this is. She looks cute. Art's nice, but another one of her. Now we look at all the colors for this art. This is Nawi. Okay. I like it. And our rare is. This is our rare plus. 
Okay, so no Seeker Rare Plus in this box. But a Rare Plus of Ares, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be Ares. I mean, if for it to randomly be Eldigan would seem off for this set. Um, very, very dark. Uh, and I think that is the Mistletane under the golden quote. I believe that's a Mistletane. So yeah, nice Ares art as a rare plus. Okay. Well, like I said, kind of sucks that we're not going to get the SR plus here, but we could still get some solid SRs in general. Uh, we got Maribel, or Mar <laughs> Muriel, we, not Maribel. I kind of dig Muriel. She's, she's the kind of eccentric in a very dry way, but I, I dig her. There's something about her. I dig her. Uh, said, Rickon, Ares, uh, um, is this a different rendition of Julia? Or is this another kid unit that I don't know because I got all the pairings? That might be, because the blue and the fire... I'm thinking this might be, like, an alternative to, like, Tinny, or Arthur, or something. Unless this is Arthur, but it doesn't look like a dude. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, either way, I, I like your card art, so there's that. We got Unpromoted Lester. Again, like that, that cartoony, comic-y style. I, I really dig this artist's style. It's real good. Oh, there's Lester. Uh, promoted Muriel. Gee, look at how intricate. I like that a lot. Wielding two tomes at the same time because fuck you, that's why. Oh, I dig it. I dig that. Uh, we got promoted Carepri. Okay, so looking more useful. That's always a plus for him. <laughs> All right, all right, and oh no, not a rare yet. We got Sully, a Christmas calves. Sully's card art might connect to stalls because I'm pretty sure he was also on a boat. Um, but there's promoted Sully, and our rare is a secret rare. Exactly what I thought. You know, we saw the rare Sealift. I was like, hmm, might just be a secret rare version as well. There is, and here it is. Looks like it might connect to something. There's this dark aura, so... It's potential. We could get a, a combo going. But I dig this. You see the tear thing. Promoted sea lift. That is nice. That is real nice art. Okay. We got Virion again. Carepri. The Vake. Altina, so I believe her card art was somewhere on the box. Nothing on the inside. But Altina, I dig her. She's a pretty fun unit. Nice strong lady, alright. We got Muriel again, Tiki, Noir, Larce, Morgan? I think, yeah, male Morgan. A promoted version. So he was like nice and innocent in the first version we saw. I was Dark Mage. Okay. Okay. Or I guess was Sage. Whatever the, the Dark Tome wielding promoted magic was in Awakening. I don't remember. But I dig it. Uh, oh, and our rare is. Hey, this is the card I was talking about! Yes! I'm very happy I pulled this. This is Grima. This is the card I was talking about. Hell yes. I love this card art so, so much. So much, it's so good. Oh my, okay. All right, continuing on, we got Altina, Kalam, Tinny, uh, male Robin, Julius. 
So... Something about... I mean, he has weird hair in game, too. This card has really weird hair. Whatever. This little... This <laughs> little shit, Julius. Alright, alright. Uh, a different Emerin card. Okay. Looks nice. Again, it's Emerin, but looks nice. You again. Uh, promoted Rickon. Wielding some wind magic. Alright, Rickon. I see you. I, I dig it. Good shit. We have... Okay, this is the box art, Shannon. Unpromoted Shannon. I like it. Okay. And our rare for this pack is... Fee! I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because Fee has short hair. Okay. I was thinking about her. I was like, she's a child unit we have not seen yet. But look at that. The... It reminds me a lot, I mean, well, clearly, Fire Emblem 4 came before Tellius, but the Alincia color palette, green hair, white and gold, I dig the color combo. Dig it a lot. Looks real great. Alright, speaking of Fee, here is an unpromoted Fee. There we go. Getting the the love she deserves. I like Fee. She's a she's a good unit, good character. All right. Uh, Lucina Marth. I don't know what they're gonna wanna call the card, but you yeah, know, it's one of the two. I'm going to assume Marth. They're gonna call it Marth because of the butterfly mask, and bobbed hair. Either way, I dig it. I dig the butterfly mask. I finally got one myself. I'm a cosplayer. I just use it to display because it's a really cool ass mask. Love it. Uh, Emma, which we've already seen. Vake, Gangrel, Larce, Naoi, uh, Lester, Morgan, and our rare is Tharja. Dark Knight Tharja as well. Just a normal rare. Get that in a sleeve, there we go. You can see, like, a, a fiery sword, which... There is no flame sword, it's just the Levin sword. It's the only magic sword in Awakening. But I dig that she's just saying, Fuck it, I'm a, I'm a cast magic around my sword. Because I can. What are you gonna do to stop me? I love it. I really like that. Nearing the end... I haven't been counting, but I see the uh, the box getting emptier. We got Jerome, uh, Arthur. Okay, so now we see Arthur. So whoever that girl was, pretty sure wasn't Arthur. <laughs> but I really like this. This artist is real nice. Real nice style. Okay. Nah. Looks like she's two. I mean, she's cute. I don't like Na very much as a character. Don't necessarily dislike her. To an extent. <laughs> but, nice card art. Uh, Johan. Yeah, 100% Johan, because you can see with the, uh, the flower. We had Johalvier earlier. Here's Johan. I like that. Maybe that was who we saw earlier? Maybe one of them was Johan or Johalvier? I don't know. Uh, promoter versions? Who knows? I'll find out soon enough. We got Noir, a timider Noir, as opposed to the angry, uh, destructing, des destruction one we saw before. Oifi! That, like, hundred you just see the mustache, like, yup, that's Oifi. I dig it. The armor, ooh, look at you, man. Tiny little oify into this monster. I dig it. We have promoted Lena. That's a really cute card. Her unpromoted bird like card was pretty cute, but this one, I, I like this one a lot. I like that one a whole lot. 
We have Jerome. Promoted Arthur. Didn't we start this pack with Arthur? Was that the last one? I don't know. But we have Promoted Arthur. Again, this... This artist's style is really nice. I really like it. Alright. And our rare is... Sleen. I always call her Sylvia. No. It is not Sylvia. Sylvia is... In Gen 1, we got Lean and Evil, Gross, Onlooker in the back. But Lean, the Gen 2 dancer, great art. Great art. Love the colors, too. Okay. I think three packs left. Uh, leading this one off with Marth Lucina. Emma. Uh, female Robin, Julius, Oifi, this girl again, Julia, Emerin, Lena, so all dupes, and a rare is... Is this... is this Arvis? But, like, adult Arvis? Who doesn't look like a melted Muppet, like, in-game? He's wielding a fire, he's old, red hair. That's gotta be Arvis. Uh, okay, that's cool. Giving adult Arvis. Not necessarily adult, but older Arvis that you fight at the end of the game. Oh, that's so good. I dig that. Alright, Arvis is a villain. He's pretty all he's, he's, he's pretty solid. I was like, I was gonna say pretty alright, but I was like, no, that's not the right word. That's. <laughs> He's pretty, he's pretty good. Alright. Yep, two packs left. Let's see what we can get here at the end. We have Johan, Cherche, you, whatever, she, whoever she is, Noir, uh, Ulster, Emerin, Shade, Krom, Sealif, and it looks like we have a secret rare back here. Oh, yes! This is the other card I was talking about! Oh, oh no SR+, plus, but goddamn, this is the Risen King Marth. Like, if you thought Tokyo Mirage Sessions Marth was edgy, I think this is edgier. I'm not sure. Both of them are really edgy, though. But yes! Oh, I am, I am very happy with this box. Very, very happy with this box. The Grima card and this were the two I wanted the most. Anything else was just going to be a nice surprise. Oh, yes, okay. Okay. Well, last pack. Box can't be a disappointment at this point. So, let's see what we can get. We got Arthur. Morgan. Uh, Yohalvier. Nah, Fee, Lester, Gangrel, uh, Promoted Ulster? Did we already see this? I think this is still Ulster. I think this is just Hero Ulster. We definitely saw this. This is the one I was debating who it was. Uh, Yuzu. And our final rare is Lucina. This is, wait, is this reprinted art? I feel like this art has been in, I think this was in the first box. Like the first booster series, this art. Either way, it's really great art. Uh, Lucina has gotten... I don't think she's gotten a single... I mean, most characters don't get bad card arts, but like Lucina's card art has always been top tier, man. And this card is definitely no exception. But all right, as a quick... I guess... Rem reminder, run back through all of the rare cards we have pulled, starting from recent to the first one. We got that Lucina, the amazing Risen King Krom, uh, Emperor Arvis, Lean, we got Dark Knight Tharja, we got Fee, Grima, ooh, ooh, uh, a Seeker Rare, Sealif, our rare plus of the box, or the plus just in general of the box, was Ares. 
we got Normal Rare, Sealiff, uh, Frederick, Kellum, Tinny, we got this secret, our first secret rare of the box was Patty, uh, Faval, and Tiki. So all in all, real solid box, I would say. There were a lot of duplicate commons. It makes me think I might have missed a common or normal, like maybe uncommon in there, uh, which tends to, it's, it's not a super rare th occurrence. You can usually get all the non hollows in a booster box, but it is what it is. I'll find out eventually. Uh, but I have one more box in the back there that has uh, Gaiden characters, Tellius characters, and some Fire Emblem 6 characters. Uh, in it, so I'll try and get that out um, when I can, so look forward to that, but that is another box down. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.